Hello there, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a talking head avatar from a photograph or a piece of custom AI art. It's really easy and there are lots of ways to do it. It just takes a few steps and this is what works the best for me. Hey everybody. Um, so I wanted to talk about one of these latest AI rabbit holes that I went down. <laughs> um, I don't know if you've heard about this. There's the, uh, This is an article and they're talking about this AI generated Instagram account and this model has 150,000 followers makes over 10 grand a month doing like advertisements and uh, you know being an Instagram model however that works right and uh, she's totally AI generated right and like you can see some stuff like you can see the earrings here and like the car, like stuff in the background, that stuff kind of drops off um, because it's focused more on her face and stuff like that. But but this is a this is a thirst trap, right? It's like a, it's an AI thirst trap, and you can see like again, you know the it's focused more on her proportions and like getting her face right, and uh, they're probably using some kind of a control net or a LoRa. If I had to guess, this looks like it's either realistic vision or um, um, epic realism. I would say that this is probably stable diffusion 1.5 epic realism or realistic vision. And they, you know, they've trained this model to to produce the same looking face and body and um, generating these images and there's even like it looks like there's sort of like a cottage industry that has just sprung up overnight about this where there like you can make an account for or make a an AI Instagram model and then they they will manage like doing posts for you and they might even have like a chat bot where you can chat with the model or whatever that's programmed to sort of have their personality and stuff like that. So, you know, I mean, of course it's, it's thirst trap. That's like the, the first use of, uh, of something like this. But, um, you know, I, uh, w w I work from home, right? And I listen to, I like to listen to um, like stories and stuff like that, or I listen to people playing like uh, RPGs or whatever, you know, like Critical Role or, or I like Call of Cthulhu, so I listen to stuff like that. And um, so I thought, what about an, uh, like an AI narrator, you know, for a, um, for a story or something like that. So I wanted to do something like that. I, I made a couple of these little I, again you know this is this is my um this is my mage account so this is stable diffusion 1.5 and it's another one of these photorealistic kind of models and here's my prompt uh, professional photography portrait upper body to waist picture one man 68 years old he looks like Sam Elliott skinny beard cowboy jacket button up shirt belt buckle, best quality, masterpiece, 4K HDR. And then this is just a Laura. This um, this uh, this Laura just basically says that it, it it's trained with like cowboy stuff, like Western wear, so that it, it knows like that I'm looking for uh, Western wear, like a cowboy. <laughs> um, and then I went over here, I went into um, Canva and uh, Canva is actually like a a one-stop shop for this kind of stuff. Like um, you can do everything through Canva. Uh, Canva, they it's a freemium freemium thing. Like they do have a free version, and then they have an upgrade version that's like ten dollars a month, I want to say. And there's a lot of stuff that you can do in Canva. But um, I uh, I made. But we could also make our little custom avatar, our, our talking head in Canva, and then put all that in through here, right? Um, but 
so this is, I think that this is the best one that I've found is Hey Gen, which is a, um, it's pretty advanced, like some of the stuff that you can do, like um, you can build your own avatar by taking photos of your, or, or doing video of yourself, and then you um, send the video to them and then they make a custom avatar that sort of gesticulates like you and talks like you, clones your voice or or what have you. Um, I did see that people are doing this with like OnlyFans too. And this, I, you know, just because I was curious, I tried to like slip a little bit of <laughs> nudity into it. You can't do nudity, but I tell you what, you can definitely do like thirst trap, like, um, actually I'll just, I'll show you really quick. I'll show you some of the examples that I made with this stuff. And then I'll tell you kind of like what I learned from that. So I'll just show you some little snippets of some stuff that I made with this software. And then I'll, and then I'll talk more about it. This is an obvious thirst trap, but hey, you looked so I got ya. A number of people in various cities all over the West Coast are calling for the defunding of the police after this latest incident of violence against an unarmed youth. The dust-choked sun dipped low over the rugged horizon, casting long shadows across the desolate town of Dusty Gulch. In the heart of the saloon, where the air was thick with the stench of whiskey and the clinking of poker chips, walked a woman as mysterious as the tumbleweeds that rolled through the deserted streets. Martha Jane Cannery. Although she might not look, it was actually one of the finest gunslingers this side of the Rockies, and as she sauntered into the dimly lit saloon that evening, it would turn out to be the calm before the storm. You might know her better by another name, though. Calamity Jane. She wore a wide-brimmed hat that shadowed her face and a crimson scarf that she wrapped around her jaw. She had grown up dressing and acting like a man, shoot like a cowboy. The townsfolk eyed her with a mix of fear and admiration. She had earned her reputation in quick draws and silent duels, leaving a trail of defeated foes in her wake. It was Corrine was sitting inside her office when she heard the door open and saw a middle-aged couple enter, showing the body language of someone who was deeply disturbed by something. Good evening. Come on in. She greeted the new clients, her voice soft, yet authoritative. She gestured for them to take a seat on the office chair across from her own. What brings you to the office? As the new clients began to speak, Corrine's piercing eyes seemed to gaze through them at something unseen. She had a gift, a connection to the supernatural that transcended the limits of ordinary perception. Ghosts and spirits were visible to her, like wisps of smoke, their voices whispering secrets into her ear. This extraordinary ability allowed her to solve cases no one else could, delving into the darkest corners of the unknown. Corrine had developed sharp wits, working for Detroit PD. She could always... Okay, so, yeah, like, you, um, you know, you can send in, if you had, like, a model or something like that, who you wanted to be your spoke, spokesperson, right? Like, you could, you could say, you could film once, you could hire one model and then you could film in like a location or something. And then you could get that model to sign a release saying, I, um, I'm agreeing to do this with my, my likeness. And then, you know, my, my clothes like this or whatever. And then you can use it for this campaign for this thing, you know, this, um, I don't know, like training video or whatever. And then you can do it in French and you can do it in Spanish and you can do it in, you know, like Chinese or Russian or whatever, right? And then just, it's going to be so much cheaper to hire one model once to do all that stuff and then do it, you know, like just do all of the video editing and do all that stuff. You don't need all of the expensive like cameras. You don't need to go to a location or, you know, all that stuff to shoot. Right, and then it's going to be a perfectly good quality. Um, I don't really like their voices that much, right? Like they have some different um, voices that you can use. Like um, this one, 
I'll just play it for you. It sounds like the TikTok lady. I'm pretty sure that this is the TikTok lady. Um, Hello, this is how I sound. Hope you like it. Right, like that's the that's the TikTok lady. Um, here's one of their kind of like premium voices. Uh, Hello, this is how I sound. Hope you like it. So it sounds a little better, right? Um, but another thing that you can do, or what I've done mostly, is um, I've just done these little uh, f uh, photos, right? Um, oh, where's mine? Yeah, so, you know, like, th these are, um, if I can, uh, I'll just go to my, my template, and then um, I'll show you the ones that, the ones that I made, like, oh, where's the other one? Yeah, these are like uh, totally obvious, like thirst traps, and and you could um, you you definitely get away with this stuff on YouTube if that's what you wanted to do, like all this under boob cleavage, uh, whatever this is, you know, like I see that stuff all the time on YouTube, just constantly, especially in like shorts, like TikTok and you know stuff like that. Um, but, uh, if, um, if you, you know, like I would say that the thing that actually works the best though, that looks, um, the best is just the talking head. It's like, because th this is designed to, the software is really designed to animate the face and with these, or at least with the talking photos right? So you wouldn't even need to go to the trouble of making a good, really good kind of realistic AI portrait. You could go into something like um, Art Breeder, which is totally free. And um, if you're more of a visual person, if you, if you prefer making, um, making uh, stuff like this, and then you can just say, oh, well, I want them to be, uh, I like this one. Um, oh, I think I just need to, I need to refresh my, um, my, my page. Um, like I can say, okay, you know, I like this photo, right? Um, I want to make her slightly older. Right, or I want you to give her a slightly different um, facial expression, like open her mouth a little bit more so that it looks, you know, when she's narrating and when she's speaking, um, that's that's gonna look better, right? So this is Art Breeder. I'll put links to this stuff down here. Um, this is Art Breeder, and then Art Breeder just has a like a custom portrait generator. And then you can change their, you know, say, oh, make her look more, you know, Indian or Middle Eastern or, you know, Asian or whatever. You can do that, right? So that's that's a way to do that. And Art Breeder is, is totally free. And then I think that they do have some upgrades, like you can get more kind of like high, high quality or high resolution images. They might have some better... Um, like better graphics cards or something that you you have access to um but yeah i so the um my my thirst trap videos though right i made those completely in here um inside of uh uh hey Gen, right so um the um, the slideshow things I did in Canva, and then like I said, you know, you could do everything inside of Canva. Um, like, the just to give you a quick idea of how Canva works, like I'm not going to do a, a Canva tutorial, but basically you just, you do a, a slideshow, and then um, you can do something like this where, where there's like a, a transition in between. And then this, uh, 
this transition, you know, that's just like, it kind of animates the, the slideshow. And, um, and, and like, you could make something like this, like a conspiracy board that moves and you have pictures that get added or, or what have you, or like the, with the, um, the Western, um, my, my Western project thing, I had, um, uh, like kind of wild west stuff like wild west kind of photos you know in between um and i think that that would work great for a channel like where you're reading books you know or something like that and then you just have your little talking head guy and you know like russell that's what i named the guy his he he had his cowboy hat on and then it doesn't like the cowboy head because it wants to move his head to the side and stuff. And then it doesn't really know how to animate the cowboy hat with it, right? But um, if we're if we go to Hey Jen, and then um, because you could do everything inside of Hey Jen, um, let's just let's build a new like a new template. So they have like all these different uh, templates that you can use and kind of like set them up how you want to. Um, like uh, we can, I don't really like that one. Uh, that looks, yeah, that looks better. So like all of these, all of these elements inside of here, we can edit them. Oh, I guess not. I thought that the, oh, I guess that's one of those fixed ones where it's like they have a fixed um, background, right? But um, you can see that this guy is, you know, he's like, he's gesticulating, he's talking, and then he's sitting behind his computer at his little studio, you know, um, and that's going to be fixed right and then it has this voice so one thing that you can do to upgrade is um i found this the um this site here 11 labs um they have really 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 good sounding voices um they are very natural the only thing that I've noticed is that if you put things in quotation marks, then sometimes it doesn't know how to read them. You're better off just leaving everything in um, just a plain format like this. And then if you put like a, um, a, a paragraph break in there, then there's going to be a break in their speech, right? But... Um, so I'll just show you an example like I have um I have some some little portraits that I've made like here's um Russell's green screen portrait um the dust choke sun dipped low over the rugged yeah that doesn't look that good um but we're, we're going to make a new one we're going to make an intro for this video with um, with this character, right? So I'm gonna go into templates um, and, you know, like I do kind of want to show off some of the stuff, like, okay, if we, if we do it, if we do this, you can see that I can move the avatar around um, and then get them in the position that I want I can move the text around. I can move this stuff and then put it, uh, send it in the into the back, you know, uh, like that. And then this background here, like if you want to change your background color because you want to do a green screen, which is what I'm going to end up doing later, um, I can change the the green screen color and. Um, one little quick tip about green screen stuff, you're probably better off doing either like a neon kind of bright green like this 
or doing a dark green because the dark green is going to be easier to key out like in the shadows um, and then the neon green is going to be easier to key out just because it's completely unnatural it's not anything that resembles a skin color or something that um, people would typically wear on their clothes you know so um, so let's just go ahead and let's make a, a fresh one um, uh, yeah we'll just use this one so I'm gonna get rid of Russell and then I'm going to um, I'm going to go ahead and upload this one and um, this is just another another piece of um, this is just or yeah this is another piece of um, AI art that I generated um, and then I'm just gonna make this photo talk right and then I went ahead and get, I went in and uh, let's see I use Krita I use Krita instead of Photoshop Krita is another it's a photo free Photoshop alternative like an open source Photoshop alternative and then I went ahead and just removed the background and then put in the green screen but um, you could use something like um, you could use uh, remove yeah removal.ai is another program that you could use or if you're in Canva um, Canva has a an app that you can use called background eraser um, but the removal AI does a better job than most of the other stuff that I found and then um, but it does downgrade the resolution and then sometimes it misses things you know it doesn't cut out things exactly how how you want to so just if you're you know you can do it yourself it doesn't take that long in something like um uh yeah Krita, right so okay we're gonna we're gonna add this um add this photo right and then i'm just gonna yeah, I'm just going to center her and then if you want to use the premium version um, you're gonna you're gonna need to buy one of their plans right and this is a good time to talk about this right because this stuff is expensive um, if you wanted to use this stuff and you're gonna make content with it right um, by this is what this is paying yearly which is 20 percent off and 30 credits is 30 minutes and that's what you're going to get a month with um with this plan right so you're paying about 50 dollars a month for 30 minutes of video of talking avatar video and uh, so it's it's not cheap. <laughs> um, I'll let you know if I find like a cheaper alternative, but I would say that this one is the best one. And then they do give you a certain amount of um, uh, a certain amount of credits to start to kind of play with it for a while. Um, and then I think that if you aren't using it, if you aren't using the the whole amount of credits that you you know that you have I think that they just build up like you keep your credits so but it's not cheap <laughs> um, so yeah we're gonna do um, if I if I say if I go into here and say like the same script I say uh, welcome oops Welcome to, okay, to my video. This is going to be a short tutorial on how to make a custom AI avatar, right? And then we do it in just the the default voice 
Oh. Welcome to my video. This is going to be a short tutorial on how to make a custom AI avatar. I don't think that their voices are that great, right? So I think that these, the Eleven Labs ones, sound pretty amazing. Like you can see, um, I'll do, this is, I think this is, these are some of my favorites. Um, yeah, I think it's because I, I just generated something and I already picked the, uh, the voice. And this is what I this is what I use for my little detective story thing. Um, but here's the here's the voice that it download that it generated. Um, one minute detective story. There we go. Talking head. Hello there. Welcome to my video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a talking head avatar from a photograph or a piece of custom AI art. It's really easy, and there are lots of ways to do it. It just takes a few steps, and this is what works the best for me. Right, so I think that sounds pretty great. I mean, that sounds really, really good to me. Um, so instead of using their text-to-speech software stuff, I'm just gonna go in here and then I'm gonna add my custom script. Uh, talking at Avatar. And just plugs that in there. Hello there, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a talking head avatar from a photograph or a piece of custom AI art. It's really easy and there are lots of ways. So that all looks good. Um, and then this just, this is all gonna get keyed out later in my post-production in my video editing software, right? So I'm just gonna submit that. And it wants a half a credit to do that. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then it's it just takes takes a little while to uh, to generate that, and then also yeah. So hey Jen, it looks like they they give you one credit a day. They'll just give you one free credit a day to kind of play around with this stuff. If you're if you're like me, if you're a, a crumb catcher who doesn't want to commit and pay like the fifty dollars a month to uh, have some some actual credits to play with. I think it's cool, you know, I think it's interesting. I don't know if I, if I wanna pay the $50 for it, but I do think it's, it's very cool. Okay, looks like there's a line ahead of me. So, um, if we go into, where's my video editing software? Okay, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve. This is the this is the software that I use to do all of my um, video editing, and uh, like I can I can put uh, can put some little titles in here. Why not? I'll just I'll just add a little um, add a little title over here, and then I'm gonna drag that out put it over the whole the whole video can change the text uh, make it black thirst trap hey look I got gotcha. you um, Right, but um, so if we go to here, um, I'm gonna add in a uh, a background, and I think I'm just gonna probably just gonna use another piece of AI generated something um, from uh, from my from my mage. Looks like my my video is ready. See what this looks like. Hello there, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a talking head avatar from a photograph or a piece of custom AI art. It's really easy, and there are lots of ways to do it. It just takes a few steps, and this is what works the best for me. Okay, cool. So yeah, I mean, it would be cool if you could get this person to do all of these gestures and things like that. And you know, I think that this has a, this would have a lot of appeal to the type of YouTube channel that 
and maybe they don't want to show their face, you know, if they want to do the thirst trap or they want to have the kind of spicy content where they don't want everybody to know what they look like, um, you know, that this could have a lot of, um, could have a lot of appeal to those kinds of people, right? So, um, yeah, I'm going to go back into DaVinci and um, I'm going to add the this video on top of here and I'm going to match up my background with the um, my video in DaVinci and then instead of keying out all this stuff I'm just going to go into this and then I'm going to go ahead and do some cropping and crop in the left side crop in the right side get rid of all that stuff and then I'm going to use um, an effect in uh, DaVinci. Um, and it is called uh, Key. Yeah, three, here we go, 3D Keyer. So I'm just gonna put that on top of here. And then I'm going to key out this, uh, this color right here. Oh, whoops, gotta go down here, go into my open effects and then key out the green. And then you can see that we've, the, the, the dark green, you know, it does a, a pretty good job. And then you can go in and you can like add, use the eyedropper and then grab this little bit on the sides and things like that. But instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down here into final composite and I'm gonna say alpha black and white and then I'm going to um, go in here and then I'm going to sort of tighten it up a little bit. Let's see how that looks. Still needs a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just kind of get rid of some of the, the soft edges and stuff like that. Got almost all of it. Um, and then you can kind of you can kind of play with these a little bit. It's just it's a little bit easier on your eyes to do it in like the the alpha layer. Uh, still pretty good. And yeah, you can, you know, you can play around with these to just kind of get it to uh, to look like exactly how you want. Until you get rid of all of that, you know, just kind of uh, get rid of almost all of the, the green that's in the, the little background there right but that's close enough you know that looks that looks pretty good and then let's hit play hello there welcome to my video today I'm going to be showing you how to make a talking head avatar from a photograph or a piece of custom AI art it's really easy and there are lots of ways to do it it just takes a few steps and this is what works the best for me so I think that you know it's a very cool like emerging technology I think that we're gonna see a lot more kind of stuff like this, like <laughs> thirst traps, like um, AI chatbots and stuff that are animated where you, they're like, it looks like they're talking to you and stuff like that, or um, like promotional material, like if doing like a training video or something like that, or, you know, ads and stuff like that. But anyways, like that's, that's how, how I do it. Um, and then like I said, you know, you could do everything in Canva. We could um, we could use a, a HeyGen like avatar here in uh, in in Canva, you know, and then put the um, uh, do all the same steps, like add the um, add the same audio, and um, I don't want to do this right now because the um 
or, or also like in, in Canva, um, if you do have a video, you can use a thing on the, uh, you can use a thing on the video to like get rid of the background. You can just click edit on the, on the video and then it will, it automatically does all of the, um, like the alpha layer, the keying out green screen thing on there, but that costs, you know, $10 a month. And this is just what I'm used to because I'm a DaVinci Resolve guy, right? But um, yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll put timestamps down here. If you know, if you wanna go back and look at a certain part or something like that, or if you, you know, you're interested in this, I'm gonna put some links down here to some of these websites and stuff. And uh, I think that's going to be it. So yeah, take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next one.